baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros and the San Diego Padres. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Jose Altuve up to him here. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Jose Altuve. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And we're underway. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. And a pitch. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And that will drop foul. And the right hander deals. And they find for the play. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Trying to pick up his first knock on the big leagues. There's a strike. The next nope. pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. So next up for Houston, Yaner Diaz. That clips the corner. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And that is ball one. This one popped up. Arise has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. Luis Arise stands in. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. It's a strike across the top of the zone. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That's out to center field. Brings it in, and there's one down. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But, yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Zips it to oh. first, and they take care of Tatis for the oh. out. Two outs, base is empty. Jerks and Profar now at the plate. Profar. That misses. One and oh. Yeah, and All the domino no effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers Two and then oh. either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Next offering is in for a strike. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Fastball in for a strike, and the count is filled up. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Now Machado up here, and that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. That one ripped. Homer of the year, just like that, they move in front. It's 2 0. So, two away with nobody on. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Lined, and that's 
a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Not Other than good. ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, and there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Xander Bogarts in the box now. No balls and a strike. Merrill leads off first with two down to the inning. He's going, he's going. Run around the move. Foul ball there. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Runner on the go again. Up the middle. Over to first. Bogart's retired. Inning over. Back here in San Diego. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Tucker. Kyle. And a pinch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That oh. one missed. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Vic Caratini at the plate. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Pulls it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Pena getting to start at shortstop, batting sixth in today's lineup. And he was a third swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. That'll make it out of here. So he just clears the wall, and they're on the board. It's 2-1. Here's Jason Hayward. Well, the delivers out. outside. Pitch misses there, and it's 2-0. Fly ball to right. Tatis drifts towards it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We head to the bottom of the second. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth, a seventh-round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two-way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. And ball one. One ball, one strike. And it's even up. In. And a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage that's counts. Where batting good. averages are just so much higher. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Donovan Solano, the next to hit, takes ball one. And that's, that's in the dirt. Two. And the count is 2-0. Two two no with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get oh. away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating no based strike. off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that's ball four. Base knock Perfect. and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now it's Elias Diaz. And that's Whoa, outside. That and that's ball one. There's a strike. the corner and a count one and two the pitch on the ground Altuve He's slings up. to second plenty oh. of time at first that's a double play I think four six three double no, plays man. like that are way tougher than these guys make no. it look sometimes because no oh. matter how that's where footwork really comes into play but right there very well done 
the rise. Stands in now and watches strike one. And now it's even up. Cronenworth on third with two out. That one ripped right center field. And that gets down into the gap. Runner from third comes across. It's 3-1. And that's a two-out double. Picks himself up an RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Tatis in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. left side and that one handled jumps throws they get the out and that'll do it new inning getting started here's the center fielder Jake Myers Jake Myers pitch swing and a miss as he was late that time on one and that one fouled off And one away. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Swing and a miss as he was late. The Strohs down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is fouled back. Swings and misses. And there are two down. So the lineup flips over. Jose Altuve, the next to hit. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Get that first hit at the big league level. Bat to right. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The 0-1. And yeah, there's a ball. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing, it puts you right back in this ball game. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the switch inning left fielder, Jerks and Profar. Brown, back to work. Ground ball right side. Profar is out. Here's Machado. He's already homered in this game. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. First off, bring it just misses. Scott, when you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. That one hit to right. Tucker on the move. Squeezes it, and there are two outs. Jackson Merrill at the plate now. His first career home run happened right here at Petco Park. Yeah, and he got the silent treatment from his teammates in the dugout, which is such a baseball thing. You don't see it anywhere else. Nothing like running through the dugout, pretending to high-five teammates who won't even look at you. Live drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. But a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And here is nope. Xander Bogarts. Help one and oh. Runner at second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. And a knee high strike to Xander Bogarts. One and one. Line drive. Myers makes the play, and that will end the inning. Back here at Petco Park. Start of the fourth. Now it's the DH. You're Don Alvarez. The pitch. 
Big swing and a miss. Well, these All Astros just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. And can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Now about it. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Diaz in the box now. Takes strike one. And it's one and one. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Tosses the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Here's Kyle Tucker. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The Astros trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. For the runner at third, this is who they wanted to play. He's so good at getting run across in these situations. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And now the first baseman, Victor Caratini. Over one so far. Ball finds a corner, and that is strike one. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. And we're back. Now, Jake Cronenworth. Second baseman. Work. The wind of the pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their now, swings. The Here's Donovan Solano. Donovan. One down, base is empty. That's hard hit in the line. Myers hauls it in for the out. Two down. Up next and here's the, the catcher, Padre. Elias Diaz. The catcher. He's all oh, for one. Diaz. Takes the corner, strike one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Out to short. And it's a oh. one, two, three inning. Here in San Diego, ready now for the fifth inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. King back to work. There's the strike. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Outside low. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Get down. And down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Jason Hayward up next for the Astros. Hayward goes six feet five inches, 34-year-old vet, a former first-round pick back in 2007. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Fastball for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Struck out swinging his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. That clips the corner. Two outs, base is empty.
Next oh. offering is down low. And nope. that's a that's little bad. bit high. And Freaking. another ball. Ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth oh. throws on to first. And the Astros put down in order. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first. Digging for two. The throw into second. And he's got his second double of the game. So man aboard. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. The left fielder, number 10. Now batting jerks and profile. That catches the top part of the zone. Going one. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Check on the runner. Tatis back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That's a base hit as a run scores. Roll into third. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together for him. Got a fastball, middle of the plate. Fromber Valdez gets the ball now. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Manny Machado up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. One run is in. Around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's 6-1. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. That one finds the zone. And a count one and one. Chris, you look at it. These are the spots where pitchers can come on pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 7-1. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Cronenberg hey. into box again. Takes a strike. On the ground right side. Four, six, He's out. three. He's it's out. a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. set for the top of the sixth the and stepping in the for the Astros season. Mauricio, Mauricio Dubon. Dubon and the pitch yeah. inside corner that's a strike and it's 0-1 clearly down in this ball game and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing it's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller pitch to pitch make that guy on the mound work to get you out and he handles it himself for the out Back to the top of the lineup. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. That's ball for a strike. Altuve always seems to be setting records or reaching milestones, Boog. In 2023, he became the fastest player to reach 2,000 career hits, 200 home runs, and 200 stolen bases in MLB history. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Everything came together perfectly for him right there. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying. As a it's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Alvarez batting with one down takes a strike. Ball oh, one there. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Three. Pulled the string on the changeup. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And there's the strike. Cronenworth to first, and that is that. Well, we go bottom six. Now the DH for the Padres, Donovan Solano. Solano. As the lefty gets to work, ripped on a line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Hayward makes the grab one down. So the batting number order turns three, over. Luis Arias, Luis. the next up for the Padres. Oh, oh yeah. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Oh, you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Sends it to first. Two away. Good onside run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. And now Fernando Tatis Jr. One for three. Out towards left center. Base hit and a run into score. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Tatis runs. Strike in there. Throw to second. Save. High leg kick hangs in the air, but he read it nicely. And now in scoring position to add on to this lead. Rudder goes again. Pitch outside. Throw to third. He's safe. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Just missed. That one almost got him. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. No, that one ball. is inside Thanks, ball four. The and I mean, oh, so close. Manny. So they're at the corners Machado. now. And now here is Manny Machado. That pitch in for a strike. 0 oh, 1. Not many hitters go up there looking for an 0 0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One ball. Two in strikes. the dirt, but no advance from the runners. And he deals. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, right Kyle fielder. Tucker. Kyle Tucker. And here it comes. There's a strike. Right through there for a strike. Three. Struck him out looking. So up next, no. Victor Caratini. Out of order for a strike. Going one. 
Fastball for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena, one for two. That's in there. That's strike one. All ones to count. Top of the zone for a called strike. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back here at Petco Park. And the batter now, Jackson Merrill. Here comes a pinch. That's in there. Strike one. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, it's 9-1. Ryan Presley on the pitch here. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Right-hander kicks, deals. One ball. The shortstop Two takes strike. the ball. Got him swinging. The batter, number nine. Jake Cronenworth, the next man. up for the Padres. Cronenworth. Wouldn't ball chase one, that no time. Strike. Missed with a changeup. Ball two. And a foul ball. And that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Three and two. One down, base is empty. Right side. Tucker sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. So digging in now, now for San Diego, Donovan Solano. He's been a great free agent side. That one the other way, and there's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. The batter, the catcher. Next for oh, the Padres, yeah. Elias Diaz. Yeah. And a foul ball. On the ground to short. Pena. They get the Out. force, gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here in San Diego, ready to begin the eighth, the and stepping in for the Astros, Jason Hayward. Hayward. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Out towards right center field. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab one away. So next up the for Houston, field. Jake Myers. Jake. We talk about Myers. guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense ah. aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed 
factors in the most. And a foul ball. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Oh. And that's down it away. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Down the third baseman, Mauricio Dubon. And that's in for a strike. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. And that is the inning. Bottom of the inning. And now the first baseman, Luis Arias. The first baseman, Luis and the pitch out to center Myers makes a nice running catch Fernando Tatis Jr. the next up for the Padres up the middle and that one finds its way through so they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't screw it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach. Tatis runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! Bounced up the middle. Altuve throws the first oh. inning over. And we're back. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. King back to work. And that's a strike. On the inside corner for a strike. Going two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. So now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Padres up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Out of here. His first homer of the year, it's 9-2. And next to hit for Houston, Yainer Diaz. In the air, right field, and it drops in. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time, just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. In the air, out towards left center. He makes the grab. So they're down to their final out. And stepping in for the Astros, Victor Caratini. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah. there's a strike on the outside corner. Right through there for a strike. This could end it. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Kicks and deals. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Just missed. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And the righty deals. Liner, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. 
two on and two out. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot now of pitches. Bad. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. Ouch, that one got him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Base is full, two gone. So next up for Houston, Jason Hayward. And first offering is fouled off. Diaz, the runner at third. Caratini at second. Pena on at first with two down. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Well, he went the distance for that first MLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambu. Thanks for joining us.